Well, let's uh, speak now to Andy Cowan, a member of Anyone's Child, Families for Safer Drug Control. Uh, Andy's son, Daniel, died from an accidental overdose when he was 29. Andy, thank you very much for being uh, with us uh, this afternoon. This has been in the works for a little while. Uh, what's your reaction to the fact that it's now been given the, the go-ahead, these safe spaces for the consumption of drugs? Well, I have to say I, I welcome it. Uh, welcome it very much. Uh, in fact, uh, this is not something new. These types of facilities have been available uh, in Europe and other countries for uh, some decades now. In fact, I think we're very slow uh, to the party here. Uh, but I think we've all been aware over the last uh, couple of years of the increasing numbers of deaths from drug overdoses. And particularly in Scotland, it's bad everywhere but Scotland is still uh, the worst in Europe. Um, and it's not the ideal solution to say that uh, uh, we will uh, help people who are drug taking illegal drugs and at risk of death for doing so. I think we would all say, wouldn't it be better for people not to be taking uh, illegal drugs? Uh, and that certainly would be my view as well. But the fact is that millions of people do take illegal drugs. Uh, there's a huge amount of supply of illegal drugs into this country. And they are becoming much more dangerous because they're becoming infected by synthetic uh, substances and poisons, uh, things like fentanyl uh, and so on. And the risk of that is increasing. So people who do take illegal drugs, and there are many, many, many thousands and thousands of people who do, uh, they are at increasing risk. And therefore, as a start, you know, actually creating centres which will aim to reduce the harm that these drugs uh, cause, I think, uh, has to be has to be welcomed. And Andy, I mean, what do you make of sort of the criticism that these places could become magnets, could become havens, not only for people who want to to take the drugs, and it will attract people perhaps uh, to go to these areas to take the drugs, but also for criminals as well who have been supplying these drugs to people. Well, I've heard that uh, that is clearly uh, a concern, and uh, that that's really down to the management of the facility. Uh, uh, but I, what I would say is that we need to be at least trying. I think we've got to congratulate the Scottish government uh, for at least trying to find solutions. Uh, the solutions that we've had up until now, in fact, for many generations, is simply to criminalise the whole process, both the, the drug producers and the drug distributors and the people that take drugs. Uh, and the emphasis has been on criminality rather than on self-harm. So even though this might not be ideal and there are certainly val valid arguments like the ones you put forward, uh, I think we need to be trying to do something to stop people from dying in, in the immediate term whilst we think about a wider strategy which can uh, reduce harm uh, overall. So I'd say let's, let's at least try. I suppose seeing it through that lens is what's important, isn't it, Andy? Because once you stop sort of... Um overly criminalising people for something that many would see as sort of a health issue, you can perhaps approach it in a different way, in a more compassionate way, and perhaps reduce the harms from it. Well, and it's not just the fact that we will stop people from dying literally uh, as they take drugs, but actually having people come to a centre does give uh, health professionals more information about the pattern of drug taking, about the type of drugs that they're taking. And let's not forget that the illegal drugs industry does cause a cataclysmic amount of crime uh, wherever it is. And, and frankly, it's everywhere. It's in all of our cities uh, and towns. Lots and lots of our general crime uh, comes down to uh, drug taking. So what we want to do is help the people who are being harmed to stop them from dying, but also finding more out about the types of drugs and the patterns of drugs. You know, getting drug users to, you know, to come alongside health professionals in that setting uh, helps those health professionals to understand what's going on as much as it helps the drug users to, to stop dying. Andy Cameron, it's always good to get your perspective on uh, this story, a story that obviously affected your family quite deeply. Uh, thank you very much for your time this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you.